Hi, I'm Martijn, and this time I'm your local guide in my own city. Welcome to Amsterdam. Amsterdam is the capital of the Netherlands. With under a million inhabitants, you cannot call it a world city. It's on many bucket lists because of the coffee shops, red light district, the flowers and the canals. But there is so much more. Welcome to a brand new Amsterdam travel guide. The most common way to arrive is here at Schiphol Airport, for years one of the best airports in the world, because it's not that big as Paris or London. From here you can take a taxi or an Uber, the last one is in many cases cheaper. Much more affordable is the train, in 15 minutes and for less than 5 euros you are in the city center. You can buy your ticket at a kiosk, but be aware that you buy a second class ticket, because sometimes they want to sell you a first class ticket and that's a waste of money. Did you pack the flashlight, the blanket and the mat? It's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at. You arrive here at Amsterdam Central Station, a lovely old building. Be sure that you have your train tickets to check out, otherwise you're not able to leave the station. And from here you can take the trams, behind me, the metro or the buses to your final destination. I played for you, I was crappy but you sang along and I thought you knew I could die to keep you near. What's the best place for a picnic? To shop? And where can you find this great street art? You know it in a couple of minutes. The Amsterdam city center is not that big and when you're here for a few days my advice is to walk. And a good point to start is here, the Dam, in the middle of Amsterdam. With the Royal Palace, the Nieuwe Kerk, and the Second World War Memorial Monument. And these pigeons. Don't feed them because they are a pest to the city. And don't forget that they may lose their droppings over your head on a flyby. Other squares in the city are the Rembrandtplein, and Leidseplein. Both are famous for the bars and the cafes. This is where Amsterdam is famous for, the canals and the beautiful old houses. We call it the Grachtengordel and it's on the UNESCO World Heritage List since 2010. The houses are really old, therefore we go back to the Dutch Golden Age, the 17th century. When you walk here, you can deny that Amsterdam is called the Venus of the North. Or take a famous canal cruise, you get a different view of the city, it's worth it. And today I'm boarding at Rederij Kooi. I could be the one who saved you from this hard place. We could be as one and we'll escape. We could run away, we don't gotta stay. I can feel it, it burns inside. And if you want to know where you can buy your tickets, just check the text below. Every year millions of tourists visit Amsterdam to smoke in a Dutch coffee shop. And there is a coffee shop here on every corner. And the funny thing is that you don't see many locals in there. The government is making new rules to restrict the use of coffee shops for tourists. It's not sure when this will take effect, but for now you're already informed. And look out when you cross the street, because Amsterdam is the bike city in the world. There are cycle paths everywhere and it's the most common mode of transportation. And you can rent a bike by yourself for around 10 to 12 euros a day. In the past years Amsterdam tried to make more spaces popular than only the city center. And a good example is the NDSM Werf. It's a former shipman building site, but nowadays the place for the best street art. To travel to the wharf, it's quite easy. There's a free ferry, it costs you actually nothing, departing from Central Station. One of the cutest neighborhoods is here, the Pipe, but in the past it wasn't. In the 80s it was a run-down neighborhood. Since the 90s it became popular under the young work class. And that changed the neighborhood to a vibrant area with a lot of stores, eateries and still the famous Albert Kuip markets. Six days a week where you can buy everything 
and mostly cheaper than in stores. The Netherlands is home to the most famous painters in the world, for example Van Gogh and Rembrandt van Rijn. It's not strange that you can find their work in the museums here in Amsterdam. The best options are in the Oud-Zuid neighborhoods. You have the famous Rijksmuseum here, het Stedelijk en het Van Gogh Museum, all together on one square. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not On a beautiful day, this is the place for a picnic at Museumplein. Everyone always keep falling in love again. What's wrong with them? I don't understand. Or go to the most famous park here in the city, between the locals, at Vondel Park. It's also a great place to improve your health by running through the park. This is the oldest part of the city, the Wallen, with really interesting stores, bars and cafes. And maybe you know this place better as the Red Light District. Keep in mind that prostitution is allowed since 1811 in the Netherlands and it's legal. It's a tourist trap, so my advice is to come here by night only for a walk. When you want to shop, you have several options in the city. For the exclusive brands, you go to the Pese Hoofdstraat. This is the Kalverstraat, the main shopping street, but not that special. So my advice is to go to the 9th street, the 9 straatjes. That are nine streets full with boutique shops. And don't forget the Haarlemmerstraat. It's a long street full with shops, bars and restaurants. Or go to the Jordaan, a neighborhood that was built in the early 17th century for the working class and immigrants. Of course, this area changed a lot over the years, but it's still authentic with the beautiful canals, houses, churches, and small alleys. Quite often hidden behind these types of doors. Look carefully around you, and with a bit of luck, you will find one of these places by yourself. The Jordaan is also home to the Anne Frank House. This is the place where the young Anna grew up during the Second World War until they were deported. When you visit the Anne Frank House, you can feel what life was for Jewish families during the Second World War. Do you have your own travel tips about Amsterdam? Please leave them in the comments below so we can upgrade the travel guide many times. When you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to miss new episodes. Tot ziens! Ciao! Hasta luego.